Hello there, beautiful people! How are y'all doing? How have you been? How's life? How's things? I'm doing well. My life is good. I have officially been on hormones for about six months, a little over six months when this video releases, and I thought I would talk about that for a bit. It's been a long time since I have done a video on this channel that's not totally scripted and overproduced, and today I wanted to create this video to kind of display what a non-binary transition can look like, specifically my own non-binary transition. So we're going to talk about the changes I've had so far since being on hormones in every little joyful explicit detail, and um, I hope that you guys enjoy that. If you're new here, hi, my name is Quinn Burkholz. I'm 25 years old. I've been on hormones for about six months. I am a non-binary trans... I am a non-binary trans feminine person. Um, and some non-binary people choose to medically transition, some people don't. I am medically transitioning, so I will talk about the specifics of that in a second. Um, and I also use any pronouns. Alrighty, let's talk about medical transition and hormones and changes and all that good jazz. So, um, again, I've been on hormones for about six months now. I am on a full dose of estrogen and I am not taking any blockers that block testosterone. So I'm only on one medication. This is what's called monotherapy and my medication is just estrogen. I'm on what's generally considered a full dose for male to female people who are transitioning. I'm not male to female, I'm non-binary. Um, however, my transition is relatively similar to a trans woman's transition. Um, so I'm on a full dose of estrogen um, and I have been for about six months. The form of medication that I take is gel. So I use something called Estradiol 0.06% gel. So I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the changes I've experienced. Um, so in month one of taking estrogen, I experienced changes immediately. That is quite common for people who take estrogen. I experienced changes literally on the day, the first day I took estrogen. I was feeling all kinds of things going on. Um, I was feeling some very minor kind of like negative symptoms of feeling a bit lightheaded, a bit woozy, and just like, whoa, I think my body was just like going through so much. And basically the first month, I had a lot of changes in um, my mood and, and how I felt and my energy levels. I felt like very just amazing. I felt like I had this confident boost, confidence boost. I felt just like absolutely incredible. Um, I felt like there were immediately changes in my sexuality and um, in my sex drive and the way that I felt things and my like emotional depth and capacity and all of that jazz. So I had a lot of feelings around that. Um, I definitely felt more feminine once I started it and um, that may sound a bit obvious but I also don't really know how to describe that in like medical terms. Now I've mentioned that there were changes to my mood, personality, and sexuality. Uh, to be specific on the latter point, I found that the way my body experienced pleasure felt a little bit different. Um, this change was kind of subtle but it was definitely there. I felt like I experienced um, erotic pleasure more throughout my body as opposed to being just centered on my genitals, which I've heard is quite a common experience. I also felt, for me personally, that um, my orgasms lasted a little bit like longer and I felt them in a slightly different way. For me personally, I found all those changes to be positively received. I loved them. I did not notice um, a huge dip in my sex drive, but I noticed a little dip in my sex drive. Um, I felt like it's kind of hard to explain the changes in my sex drive. I know that people who go on testosterone blockers are probably a lot more likely to notice quite significant changes in sex drive and they may also see a reduction in their ability to perform sexually. I still pretty much had the exact same sexual performance that I had before. I feel like beforehand I was like hypersexual, my sex drive was through the roof all the time, I was constantly horny, I was thinking about sex all the time. When I started on estrogen, I noticed that that wasn't the case anymore, so I wasn't thinking about sex all the time, I wasn't horny all the time, um, but I still found that I did have a high sex drive and a high desire for sex. So I would say that my sex drive is probably still higher than average, um, but it's definitely a lot lower than it was, so... Which is to say, still very high. Sexuality. Orgasms. Fucking. Ugh. 
what was I saying before? I really, really enjoy what my sexuality has become since being on hormones. Um, and yeah, that's been really positive for me. After the mood, like personality, confidence, sexuality stuff, the next main change that I noticed since being on hormones was I noticed my skin becoming much, much, much softer. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. That also felt like it happened very, very quickly. I've heard that that change can often kind of like really kick in around a month, but for me, I noticed my skin being softer after maybe a week or two. It happened like right away. Um, it, it definitely increased in softness throughout the first month that I was on hormones, and I've now been on hormones for six months. I feel like my skin is very soft and much softer than it was, um, which is lovely. I really, really like that. But I noticed that change happened very, very fast for me. About two to three months in, I started noticing changes to my face, which I was not expecting at all. I had no idea that estrogen affected your face pretty much at all. I had done a lot of like research on the effects of hormone therapy for trans femme individuals, but like even in spite of that research, I think there was just a lot of things I just genuinely didn't know happened until I saw them happening to me. Um, so to be specific, my lips started to get bigger. It was something I totally had no idea. Estrogen even affected your lips. My eyelashes started to grow longer. That really took me by surprise. I've always had like very, very short eyelashes my whole life. And uh, all of a sudden my eyelashes were growing out and I was like, wait, what? And I was thrilled by those changes. I was so taken aback and I was just like, wow, I wasn't even expecting this, but it, it was really, really pleasant. Let's talk about titties. So I didn't have significant breast growth throughout my whole transition so far. Um, I did start to notice my breasts being quite sore in the first few months that I was on hormones. Um, I started to notice like my um, nipple areas start to kind of like expand a little bit, get a little bit bigger and a little bit more pointy. Um, in general, my chest kind of felt like I was almost having like big pecs at the start, which actually oddly made my chest look a little bit more masculine at the start. Most breath gross, most breath, breast, most, most, fuck, fuck. Most breast growth on estrogen happens in the first six months that you're on hormones. Now for me, like three months, four months in, there is very, very little change here. Now, six months on, I have had, um, a lot more breast growth. My breasts are still very small. Um, there are genetic reasons for that. I don't know how to say that without like insulting my family. <laughs> anyway, I will probably always have very small boobies and I'm personally extremely happy with that. As a non-binary person, like I never really wanted to have big tits. That was never really a big transition goal for me. And I personally would never consider chest augmentation surgery. So um, personally, I'm like, cool. I'm happy to be flat chested and just be one of those lovely flat chested gals um, who is not in fact a gal, but is in fact non-binary. Um, anyway, needless to say, I've had some chest growth. I really, really like my chest right now. I, I think it's really beautiful. I think I view my chest in quite like a gender neutral, quite androgynous way. I don't necessarily see my chest even with, with the breast growth I've had, I don't necessarily see it as like a female chest. I don't feel a strong need to cover it up. I don't feel a strong need to like hide it away as some kind of sexual object. Like it is a sexual object, but it also was before. Like I, beforehand, my ch I saw my chest in an erotic way. I still see my chest in an erotic way. I don't see it as something that needs to be like filtered from society. Anyway, um, needless to say, I like my boobies slash pecs. I think they're pretty and nice. Um, yeah, <laughs> not much else to say on that one. In between four months and six months, I did start to see changes in my body's fat distribution. So there were some very slight changes around that. So I did notice that my fat was being distributed a little bit more around my hips and my butt and a little bit less around my belly. Um, so I noticed my kind of body overall taking on a slightly more uh, stereotypically feminine shape and physique. Um, I don't need to say stereotypically. Um, I saw my body start to become more feminine around four months. That was cool and euphoric and exciting for me. Um, I've noticed very few changes in my hair growth. Um, I am naturally a very, very, very hairy person. 
and um, didn't have a lot of changes there. Now, six months in, I feel like my hair is starting to grow a little bit slower. Um, and there are some like very, very slight patches on my thighs where I feel like it's growing in particularly slow and it's quite noticeable how different the growth is. There are probably other changes that I just literally haven't observed because um, I'm not like trying to obsess over my transition too much. I know there are some people who document every single change and every single detail and I'm not one of those people. So like if I've shrunk or my shoe size is smaller, I wouldn't know. At the end of the day, being on hormones has given me so much joy. It's made me happier and healthier psychologically. It has made me really in love with my body. The changes that have happened to my body have just been exciting and euphoric. And I feel like I am the most me I've ever been. And uh, I can thank estrogen for that. I can also thank my tattoo artist for that. In many cases, I don't really see my hormone therapy journey as any different than the fact that I've also gotten loads of tattoos last year. I personally believe that um, we should all have bodily autonomy and we should all be allowed to do whatever we want with our bodies. If you have any questions for me about transition as a non-binary person in particular, feel free to put them in the comments down below. In one of my recent live streams, some of the non-binary people in the chat started talking about like medical transition and that stuff. And some of them voiced concerns about like this and that, or like, what about breast growth if you don't want breast growth and all these things. And there just isn't really a lot of information out there for, for people that want to non-binary trans to non-binary transition. Um, so I, I, yeah, I'm very happy to talk about it. I've done a lot of research on the topic and um, I'm not a medical professional again, uh, but I do know a thing or two. So if, if you're out there and you're wondering, you're curious, um, do feel free to pop your questions down below and I will try to answer them, probably not promptly because I'm bad at the internet. Okay, I'm gonna now disappear back into the void for however long. <laughs> Thank you for watching um, and I will see you guys in my next video. It's raw for now. I didn't say à la prochaine. I've really like just abandoned my branding. I've just let it. I've just let it all go. You're not gonna see all 40 minutes of these footage of this of these footage of this footage. I just want you guys to know that this is this was a. F I, I filmed this for 40 minutes, rambling. I I really hope this has turned into something cohesive. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and support me on Patreon. I'm a very professional and organized artist. <laughs> Cause life is for living Let's see where the soul might lead I said life is for living Let's see where the soul might lead